You have another reason to fear getting involved. Getting involved could mean getting sued. So if you decide to help your fellow man, woman, person, you should know there are legal considerations. The general rule is that you have no obligation to help someone in an emergency. Guys having a heart attack, you don't care, you walk on. Unless you cause the problem, normally you don't have any legal responsibility. To encourage us to help one another, most states have created what are called Good Samaritan Laws. These are laws designed to limit liability for doctors and others that help in emergency situations. A few states, like California, have expanded the law to include folks that give CPR. But if you don't fall in one of these special categories, you could be blamed, you could be sued for negligence if the help you offer does more harm than good. So you've watched a few too many Marcus Welby MDs and you think you can help the victim of a motor vehicle accident. You move the guy and you aggravate existing neck or back injuries. You could be responsible. Now, I'm not trying to talk you out of coming to the rescue. Just be smart about it. If you have a CPR or other certification, make sure it's current so that you can take advantage of any state protection. If you can find professional help, do it. And don't get in over your head. The idea is to help the victim. You'll only make things worse if you don't really know what you're doing. And once you decide to help, stay with it until authorities or medical help arrives. The law seems harsh, but it's designed to protect the victim, not punish the Good Samaritan. Remembering this simple idea, when you face an emergency situation, we'll give you the legal edge. I'm attorney Michael James Bryant.